Hello again! We are back with another episode of Super Chef Dad. I'm your host, Chef Matt. This is... Chef Rapunzel! Okay, because I'm wearing a princess shirt with Rapunzel and no one else. This week we're making a couple of our favorite comfort food classics. This episode of Super Chef Dad is brought to you by... Pumpkin! <laughs> Tomato sauce. I'm going to show you a couple tricks of how I make my tomato sauce. Dial up the flavor just a little bit. First thing, you remember this guy? Garlic confit. It's gonna be the part of the backbone of our tomato sauce. It's a quarter cup of dry red wine. The rest is for the chef. Couple more ingredients. Vegemite, fish sauce. What? In a very small quantity, you're not going to taste this, but it will enhance the natural tomatoey goodness of your sauce. All right, there we go. It took 40 minutes. You work with me, I'll pay you 20 M&M's. No. 20 M&M's to help me do Super Chef Dad. No. 25 M&M's. I said no. What's your asking price? I'm desperate here. Let's talk breading. Gialla tra le foglie gialle an eggplant farm could be a very intimidating dish. It's a lot of breading, it's a lot of frying. So we're going to show you a couple things that we could do to make our eggplant farm a little better. Okay, Zoe, what's your favorite part of chicken parmesan? Ah, okay, let's talk chicken. So what we're looking for is about, I don't know, a little less than a half inch, about a quarter inch. When your kids are bad. Our Thanksgiving part three episode, we talked about a dry brine. That's what we're going to do again here. Season both sides, leave it to sit for 20 minutes, and then proceed with your breading. Same procedure for our chicken. All right, light spray on the, the browning rack. Right, we have the crisping rack inside. You want to leave some space. About halfway through, we'll we'll give it a flip, and we're just cooking until the eggplant is totally cooked and golden brown. And then just keep going with the rest of your eggplant and I'll show you how to finish your eggplant parmesan. Okay? And for our chicken, we're going to do the same thing. What do you want to tell all the people? I'm sad because I don't get to do painting. <laughs> Is there anything that you're happy and thankful about? I'm Is there anything happy you're happy about and... anything. <laughs> you want to help me with the cheese or no? Oh yeah. We're gonna put a little bit of the sauce right on our chicken. Okay, now we wanna put this cheese Can I taste it? on top. Have a little taster. What does it taste like? Does it taste like a cow? Mm -mm. Does it taste like the fertile plains of the middle of America? Just get the cheese everywhere. Just get it all over the table. That's good. We're, we're gonna have table parmesan. A nice pile of cheese. Oh my god, look! I was just talking! I was talking to everybody and somebody took a bite out of the cheese. Zoe, did you see any mice? I eat cheese! 
When I do a baked eggplant parm or, or baked pasta, lasagna, whatever it is, anything that's gonna go into the oven for a little bit of time, it has a tendency to dry out. So I thin out my tomato sauce, a little tomato juice. I don't know, maybe, maybe half a cup of tomato juice for every two cups of tomato sauce. In. That was about a half hour. You're good to go. Air fryer eggplant parmesan. Oh, we happy made it. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, happy Thanksgiving to you too. How's the chicken parmesan? That is perfect cheese placement. Fork? This is dripping. Okay. Okay. Do you have a fork? Okay, okay. Do you have Don't a fork? panic. Okay, panic. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed cooking. Stay safe and stay sane. If you can, oh, it's even one possible. More thing. Yes. Um, if you love our videos, put comments down below. A thumbs up here, word. Say goodbye. Uh, 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 Say thanks uh, for watching. Uh,